Hey, you watching this? I don't expect you to believe what I'm about to tell you, but you seem like the kind of person who's going to have to face this stuff when it begins. So, listen up. Your life depends on it. Back in 2019, there was a homeless teen runaway in Erie, PA, and tragically, she was kidnapped, sexually assaulted, and murdered. I sort of knew her and wanted to understand why the authorities seemed to be covering it up. When I started asking questions, the cops began harassing me, telling me to drop it. That only made me dig deeper. Some local homeless people mentioned that her death was part of a human sacrifice to summon a demon. I thought they might just be delusional or on drugs. I visited the place where her body was found and saw strange sigils covering the area. I took photos and discovered that one of the symbols was connected to a fallen angel named Azazel. About a month later, I was walking near the spot where her body had been found and saw a weird glowing Eye of Sauron kind of thing floating in the air above me. At first, I thought it was a drone, but then things got stranger. A giant pink ball of light emerged from the pit where her body had been, followed by a 40-foot tall set of ancient scales. They appeared out of nowhere and telepathically communicated with me, identifying themselves as a watcher. Simultaneously, the Book of Enoch began playing on my laptop, which wasn't even powered on or connected to Wi-Fi. Terrified, I ran and ended up in a tunnel system, searching for an exit. I eventually came to a large opening with two enormous steel doors. In front of them stood a 14-foot tall giant with pale white skin. It telepathically told me, I am the enemy of mankind. This is the only time you will see me face to face. Panicking, I pulled out a switchblade, but it somehow yanked the knife out of my hand as if by some kind of force, like Star Wars or something. At that point, I ran again, only to emerge in a church-like building around 3 a.m. Inside, the people there began chanting and laying hands on me. Then the cops showed up. They arrested me, saying, We were expecting you, and took me to a hospital. While there, I witnessed medical staff castrate a homeless black guy before they threw me in jail for a year, illegally. When I was finally released, I had lost everything and decided to leave the city, sensing that something dark was centered there. I moved to California, and while there, saw something equally horrifying. Hundreds of children being herded into semi-trucks marked Covenant Transport, guarded by members of the cartel and corrupt authorities. This opened my eyes to a massive, evil conspiracy involving ritual abuse and murder. I believe that these atrocities are part of a satanic cult, and that the white giant I saw might have been Satan himself, better known as Cain, in the Bible. They are taking over the world. The U.S. government is about to fall. If you are Christian, be ready to fight or die. This is the book of Revelation. This is real.